Alaskan Ballistics here. We have another episode two, I'm doing this one by myself, not with Juke, of 10 millimeter versus 45 super. So one of the critical complaints we had was barrel length. Now that's still a di disparity here. This has a 6.61 inch barrel. This has a six inch barrel. If you want me to have this barrel, you need to go support me on Patreon when that account gets up. I may not get up by the time of this video. And then I could buy the Lone Wolf Barrel that matches this one, or the Alpha Wolf Barrel that is 6.61 inches. So, we are shooting Full Metal Jacket, bonded Full Metal Jacket flat noses. And you can see them there. This is one is from Underwood. And I've chronographed it and done some video work before, but I haven't posted it yet because I didn't like the footage too much. And I have a video posted to this one. This is the 230 grain from Buffalo Boar that is uh, heavily bonded and is 45 super. On the box, we're supposed to be getting 1250 out of the 200 grain 10 millimeter. And the 45 super, 230 grain, we're supposed to be getting 1100. We know we get more than 1100 out of this extra length barrel. First we do the chronograph, then we'll do two penetration tests. So I wanted to apologize, the chronograph wasn't working right, and we got a lot of errors, and we didn't have a lot of ammo left, so we wanted to make sure we got just some of it on camera. The chronograph hasn't been working well the last several videos, I've been trying to use it. I do have videos on each of these ammo separately, if you want to go look at those videos and you can see exactly for yourself what they were getting in those videos pretty similar 45 super got a little bit more than it did on this leaving anyway enjoy the rest of the video okay 45 super versus 10 millimeter first we have the 45 super and it's the 230 grain buffalo bore full metal jacket bonded here we go Ah, we got another no read. Good, 1191. Ah, another no read. 1209. Another no read. We're just we're getting hard, having a hard problem with the chronograph tonight. 1191, 1209. A little bit slower than it went on the last video with the same ammo, same box. A little bit warmer out here actually than it was that day. So, check out the add up slide on that. That's all we got. I know two rounds and two reads is not enough, but we were having some trouble earlier off camera with the same thing. So, here we go 10 millimeter. Underwood 200 grain, full metal jacket, bonded. Twelve twenty one, twelve oh six. Got an error. No read. And twelve nineteen. So the two hundred grain is going just a hair faster tonight than what the two thirty grain out of the forty five super was. Okay, 10 millimeter versus 45 super. Episode two, 10 millimeter underwood, 200 grain full metal jacket. Average muzzle velocity of 1215.33. Gave us an average muzzle energy of 656.11 foot pounds. The 45 super with a 230 grain buffalo bore full metal jacket loading. You got an average muzzle velocity of 1200.0 feet per second and an average muzzle energy of 735.61 foot-pounds. It was about 58 degrees and we were at a thousand feet of elevation in September here, uh, late mid-August. And this week's shout out goes to Fun With Guns. Go check him out. Good little channel. Okay, here we go. 45 Super. Water jug penetration test, just bare water jugs, 230 grain. We've done this test in a video before. All right, I got 11 water jugs on the table. I have a few on each side in case it decides to deviate. Here we go. Ah, 
Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Well, the 45 Super knocked all these off on the ground. That's four of them that it just demolished. Five completely empty or almost completely empty there. We're leaking in this one. So that's six, seven, eight. It looks like it came out the side on the eighth. It hit here, and there it is in between the table it deviated on the 8th there and it bounced around and there is the bullet down here in between right there just bar that's 45 super just bare water look at that you could almost reload that bullet it's a little messed up there but there we go except for the rifling grooves not much deformation Looks like it'd probably go right through a grizzly bear head, but we got another test for that. Here we go, 10 millimeter, Glock bottle 40, six inch barrel. I know there's a discrepancy between the barrels, 6.61 and six inch, but it's closer than Glock, uh, the Glock 20 we used last time with Chuk. Here we go, same water jug test. Down the middle, 11 water jugs. Jugs on the side to see if we can catch the bullet if it, if it goes too far. Here we go, 10 millimeter, 200 grain, underwood. Okay, looks like uh, we at least got into the fourth or fifth one. Okay. okay. So maybe we got a little bit more of a straight line hit this time, but we've got several different things that happened here. We got one on the ground, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's completely empty. This one here is the ninth one, and it is untouched. There's no bullet hole in it. So it looks like it deviated in the eighth one, came out the bottom there, hit along the side of this one on the side, and went into the tenth one, and came out along the side there, and then knocked over the eleventh one off the back, and somehow came out. So we did not capture that bullet. Here we go, 45 super concrete cinder blocks. Here we go, let's see how it does against those. Got mud in my sights here. So muddy today. Pretty big hole, let's see how it did. Pretty big hole. Let's see how it did. You can see the hole here, really big hole, nice, good size hole, don't see the bullet lying around anywhere, didn't really expect to even though we did find them on this test before, oh wait a minute, nope no that's not it, Never mind. don't see the bullet lying around anywhere, you can see in here, dusted it pretty good, mm, no that's not a fraction of bullet, it's a fraction of gravel right there. It put a nice big dusty on the back side, but 
no surprise here did not go through the second layer of the first block but it will do a good job on a grizzly bear head that's pretty thick pretty hard it's gonna be tougher than bone so there we go millimeter block model 40 200 grain fresh concrete center blocks underwood ammo here we go Oh man, got spray from the concrete back in my face, is why you wear eye protection. Oh man, got spray from the concrete back in my face, is why you wear eye protection. So here we go, that's the hole the 10 millimeter made. Well, look at this, what's in here. We found the bullet. So, made a good dusting and impact, put dirt from the thing on the back wall here. And, look at that, that's a mangled mess of a bullet. Here's the little bottom plate of the bullet they make. And, there we go. So, about the same damage and penetration, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the 10mm versus 45 Super, Episode 2. When we get the new barrel, we'll do the hard cast out of both of them with the same length barrel. Make sure you check out the Patreon for that. 10mm versus 45 Super. Support Justin's final mission. Support Guard Every School. Support Hashtag Protect Every Child. Same thing as Guard Every School. Save C-Max, help a brother out, a few others in there, I'm sure I'm forgetting with all the things, uh, oh, it's all about Jack, make sure you check out all those hashtags, still doing that, still helping out people in our gun community here on YouTube, so make sure you show them some support. 10mm versus 45 Super.